3KH. Okay, everybody. So today I'm here to talk to you about rampart walls, wall bouncing, and some short logics wall bouncing. We're gonna start with the rampart walls because they're super weird. They got a weird hitbox. So you normally can't wall bounce out of them. But uh, there's a few ways to do it, so I'm not gonna focus on how to wall bounce out of them like this normally, but you can. Well, if you don't know how to wall bounce yet, I recommend you to watch Raptor or Erase this guide on how to wall bounce. I'm gonna leave the links in the description. I'm gonna do a quick resume demonstrating how wall bounce work. I'm gonna show you first with normal jump, you're gonna run towards the wall, jump at the wall and jump off the wall and that's a wall bounce, like this. And to make your life easier you can put a sideways to it, so jump at the wall, put a sideways and jump off the wall. And to make it even easier you can fatigue your jump and do this. So it's gonna look like this because you don't want to suffer you are gonna want to bind jump to scroll wheel down or up whatever you prefer and bind forward to the other up or down wheel and that's it so you're gonna jump with scroll wheel and do, do the same I personally do a thing that I don't see most people doing and I don't know if it's a placebo or not, but I tap strafe at the wall. When I'm attached to the wall, I just roll the wheel to tap strafe at it. Might be something good this way. And you can do it normally, you can tap strafe at the wall and out of the wall. So you can tap strafe to go into the wall and out of the wall. So the first thing you can do is like incline your wall and that alone will make it easier like this one of the problems is the height of the wall an easy fix to this is to put it on a higher object so if you elevate the wall like this you can do normal wall bounces you just need a sideways so not mentally, like on a normal wall bounce. I'd like to use tap strafe at the wall because I think it helps, but you can do it normally. And if you put it next to a taller object or wall, it becomes wall bounceable. Uh, don't ask me to explain why, because I just can. But you can wall bounce when there's an object behind. Because putting a wall in front of a taller object makes it wall bounceable, you can put a Sheila and put a wall right in front of it, right? And this wall will be wall bounceable too. You can also put other objects like Newcastle wall, caustic traps. Light ammo here. Putting up some amp cover. You can put the trap on the wall and bounce of it. Watson Gen, you can kind of put pretty far off the wall and still bounce of it. What? I so, while bouncing of shorter objects is pretty much the same. You can see I just used two times spacebar to do it. But if you want to make your life easier, you put a sideways to it. Put the sideways before heat it, and that will make it easier. And I feel like to make it even easier, you tap strafe when they attach of course, but I don't know, some people might be doing differently. 
In order to not mantle the object, you have to start with a sideways and don't release the sideways until you're off the object. I do this because, at least for me, I think it helps to get more consistent wall bounces. I used to miss a lot more when I had to tap straight to the wall and I also like to wall run before wall bouncing so this can extend a bit of the wall running but I'm not gonna go into details of this now so there are a few places that are not wall bounceable like this are only wall bounceable by normal bouncing and if you haven't watched Moki's video on normal bouncing I will link it on the description and you should definitely watch so what I do here I fatigue my jump and hold the sideways before I release crouch and tap strafing into the rail so like this right and then I wall bounce so I think that is all I hope that is all I want to give a special thanks to Raptor who helped me to get some of the footage and do some of the testing and that's it bye